Hello there everyone and welcome back. This is Osashi and today we are finally going to check out uh, the Royal Guard. Oh, really, the Sea of Trees just keeps on giving. Mutated Odor just keeps on going. But you know what? I really want to uh, go to the Royal Garden. So whenever you defeat something, other things these so-called monsters possess a greater power and vitality than humankind. Yep, they're the next days in human evolution. Yeah, I, I saw that. So another boss rush. That is actually interesting that you unlock some extra bosses. But for now... Oh, I'm very curious about that boss though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's go to the Royal Garden. I'm very curious here. Yeah. The Royal Garden is located in the center of Hermes Kingdom and was built by the first king. It houses rare plants from all over the continent and thus has always been popular among the nobles. Let's go there. I can use some uh, variety here. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty. I wonder if there's also going to be some uh, enemy variety over here. Garden. Let's see here. Big gate. That looks nice. Let's light up this beacon. And move on. I like this. Yes, there we go. Oh no, that, that is an enemy we've already encountered before. I could have taken your shield, oh well. Okay, so there's some different mutations going on over here. More like crystals. Again, I guess I wanted some new enemies, but oh. It did cost me quite some health though, so let's pick up these uh, a little shield might be. Uh -huh. Careful, careful now with the spamming. No, no, oh there's an archer. Are you still gonna attempt to <laughs> attempt to shoot me, huh? This is pretty. So you're standing there contem contemplating. That was missed. Hello. Boy. Am I getting a sword or am I getting a shield? Shield, okay. Notes of Hermes' life, Garden 1. The Royal Garden is Hermes' treasure trove of knowledge, whose greenhouse and library are filled with an abundance of documents. The knowledge contained here is the most precious of, on the entire continent. In order to protect these valuable materials, the garden is patrolled by several platoons of heavy guards the captains are elite warriors. Okay. Why would they have to protect their library though? That uh, 
sounds a bit weird if knowledge is so important uh, in my opinion and you truly value the knowledge and you also manage to utilize it you don't need that many guards especially no elite warriors so it does sound like that this was some kind of militaristic uh, nation <laughs> So we have a deep divide between the rich and the poor. Okay. I do like the looks of this level very much. Okay, that's another character. Huh? Maybe some kind of fo farmer. That's fast. Let me take your weapon. So now I have a scythe. Okay. There was also a path down below. <coughs> so wait, where did I come from here? Right? Yeah, I came from there. There's a ladder here that I can get down. Yeah. Release this thing here. Uh, so that definitely implies that I need to continue over this route. Oh, this one again. I remember you. You're you're a tough one. Okay, let's get back. At least now we can take the ladder. There's also a path down below still mm -hmm. oh there's the arrow let's uh, immediately go for you Wondering about that arrow though as a weapon too. Maybe I can even pull you down. Will you follow me if I go down here? No. Or are you taking the long route? These are the elite cards. Thank you. 
Hmm. Okay. Almost got you there. Those double sword people are strong, man. arrows. I do want those arrows, uh, so let me... Okay, never mind. I guess I uh, will lose some of my memories. That's what happens if you leave uh, ranged attackers just do their thing. Yeah, even more poised than those uh, knife ladies. Okay, now I will. I got you. Give me your bow and arrow. Let's test this out. As much as I wanted to. Already healed it back up, huh? Oh, isn't that shit? I don't want to pull the other one as well into the. You're, you're, oh, you're healing? Oh, because you walk out of your area. Is that it? Is that what a red symbol means? That's like it's kind of like an anti-cheese mode of the game, I guess. Then. Which I actually like. I like that the game is uh, like that. So you want me to beat this fellow fair and square? Well, let's do that then. <laughs> well, but not this time. <laughs> let's just get back here. Because I'm uh, messing up those deflections. Let's go. Now he did jump down there. That's and he just running back immediately. Oh, okay. Well, let's do that then. I hope you don't heal up. No, you don't. Okay. There. We go. I think you are now, though. Uh, that's annoying. Yep. That is pretty annoying. Oh well. Might as well just. While waiting for you, might as well read what's going on over here. Notes on Hermes Life Garden. No, or not. Guess. Okay. <laughs> I guess I will read it later.
Don't fall. <laughs> yeah. we picked up now for the first time. Twin Swords. That is very lovely. That's also... So, story, skill shards, ingredients, collections, lore... Hmm. Twilight Circus, Nelson on Hermes Live... Oh God, Hopeless no. Garden here, Garden 2. Besides researchers and station guards, the Royal Garden employs a large number of gardeners. Their main task is to take care of the many rare species in the garden. After the Institute of Alchemical Studies was established here, these plants are no longer merely for viewing, but have become invaluable materials for alchemy. Yeah, so science gone wrong, I'm guessing here. That is my calculated guess let's say let's try this out yeah those are cool full-on combo i like that i wonder if they are strength weapons because my next play uh, my le uh, next level up will definitely Make sure to get a um, second plague weapon. And, and with that, I think I'll attack that and equip those swords because they look super cool. And so this used to be one of those guarders, probably. But there's a gate here. from this side though no not from this side classic so it's another strong one just an ordinary strong one nice we just charged for each other there and I got the better hand Don't really want to do this, but have to kind of. Diary of an Unknown Soldier 2. I thought that by joining the Knightly Order, I could protect home and country outside the nation's borders. Besides standing guard and conducting patrols, I didn't expect to be delivering goods all day let alone to that foul place known as the Sea of Fools. Fortunately, after having injected pure blood, I no longer fear the plague. Yeah, so there's some propaganda going on, some uh, manipulation of the masses, promise of protection and nationalism and all, all that bullshit. And then in the end, everything went to shit, huh? Okay. I will go down here and explore the path down that I uh, saw before. So there I went up here, I think. I came from there, so let's go over here. That also does a lot of play damage. Nice. Hello. I used you are a strong one, I think. Yeah. With a great sword. I think. Yeah. Oof. I think I've encountered one of you before. Like I think like one of the tutorial bosses in the beginning, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. So down there, okay. You want to take your arrow, but this also works. Uh, this is a dead end, right? Yeah, it is. Then I go down here. go. <clears throat> I would love that great sword of yours. I'm guessing that's a uh, yeah, great sword skill shard. Let's go. Two of them even. I'm guessing that's a um, strength plague weapon, but I'm not sure. Oof. You again, huh? Now I don't have any healing anymore. So let's uh, you up from these plebs, I guess. Is that another strong one or just a normal one? Yeah, that does shit ton of damage, and of course, the arrow. Hmm, annoying. So let's fight over here then. Oh, you do seem like a strong one, actually. Or not, no, not. There we go. So... Careful with that arrow person there. Now we're out of line of sight. Uh, memories. Okay, that's one of those.
really low here. Oh, and I <laughs> got sniped. <laughs> okay, but I did get some extra plague weapons there, so let's check that out. Let's check this out. So, those pushing. I can upgrade this one to have an extra one. So then, uh, not yet, one more. So I will save up for that, I think. Then I unlock this one, shield, built around vitality, and this one is a great sword, also vitality, reduces the damage and take it 20%, 25% of cast down. That is actually pretty useful. <coughs> and these are the Tombex Plague, uh -huh. yeah, that makes sense. Leave extra 30 wounds. Mm -hmm. Cost a hundred though. Uh, that is pretty expensive. This is also a hundred. Seven. Also plague. Okay, so more for strength builds currently, but I might go more for the plague build because I do think I'm focusing more on deflecting and doing plague damage rather than. Uh, just ordinary damage because even with my strength build that ordinary damage is not so much although actually this is definitely helping I guess taking them down quickly okay, let's take down that arrow and down continues as well. We took down this one and then this path. Did I check it out? I did not check it out. Oh, I think this is the, the other side of that cave. Mm -hmm. So... It is. So then we have the ladder. I can go quicker here. Hello. So both paths in the end lead towards one another, okay. or something? Nope. Okay, so no, this was not that same gate. Interesting. 
But this, maybe this is the cave then. Yeah, this is the one. So that does mean that I needed to go down to continue. So it's swiping uh, possibility there. <clears throat> nope, did not have to take that damage there. Mm -hmm. and there was a sniper somewhere. Oh no, that's the one that I just took down. I think now I'm further than I've been before. Yeah, there's a house there. Okay. And it does look like a beacon in the distance. I would really welcome that. So we're going into some kind of a garden house here. Uh huh. That's a really short range. No, that's not a beacon. Just some kind of memo. Alright. Oh, and someone... There's a big enemy in front of it. Oh, I... some kind of claws going on. You don't have so much poison though, so that's nice for me. Yeah, not so fast too. Oh, I want it. Mm. Okay. Well, <laughs> a blood blade, huh? Okay. Let's see what you were examining there. Experienced researchers notebook one. Collaborating with Emerald has been an incredible experience. It doesn't feel like we are researching together, or rather. It's more like she's teaching us. Initially, we were just following her instructions, creating equipment that we had never seen before. It's not just alchemy that has caused Hermes to become so powerful. Not just alchemy, huh? Okay. So that was a strong individual that I could deal with rather well. Let's go. Okay. 
Beautiful combo. Okay. So still no side of a beacon, huh? Okay, so let's just move on. Still have three uh, potions, so that's not bad at all. I'm actually wondering if that buff that I took for uh, having full health. I don't. I think I'm gonna remove that one. Oh, beautiful! I like the ones that really knock them down as well. Yep. And these gardeners are still diligently doing their work, huh? There. Mm -hmm. And too bad there's not so many halberd people here anymore because I don't think I've fully upgraded that one yet. Hey, there is a beacon. Awesome. Awesome. Let me take a look. So there's some cages here, some crystals. Okay, let's um, sit down. And I think I got some leveling up to do here. I can also increase my potion here, so I will upgrade this one to be full. And I will also uh, equip it to try that out. Uh, let's take a look at the plague weapons. Yeah, I did not upgrade this one fully yet, right? Needs two more. And then, wait, so. If I upgrade it, it gains an extra strength. The third chapter of the sweep breaks enemy super armor. Uh -huh. So that will be a full strength build, let's say. This is Vitality. A scythe is a plague weapon. I might go for strength and plague, though. Increase the restored health. Oh, that's interesting. So this one. The wide range dive and slash when landed restores some health. I like that. I like this side of a quite a lot of them. It's also a uh, hundred though. Okay, so let's try to collect some of these side weapons here. This is Vitality, Plague, and this one, the Blood Sword, also Plague. Decrease the health consumption by 50. Consume health when casting, get a buff. Okay, so you do extra damage when performing saber attacks. Very interesting build options this game offers. I like that. Lots of intricate uh, synergies that are possible. Um, so, now I have 10 strength that does unlock some buffs, but I will definitely continue because the vitality is actually fine. Yeah, I will continue with the plague, and then I need about 3,000 more, so I will actually spend some, some of those memories, where are you, items, because I've got a shit ton of those, like 36, let's use all of them, and moderate amount, let's also use that. And we got the feathers, reset. No, I don't want to use that. Pretty content so far with my build. Um, I got 6,000 now, so that's allows to level up once more. More plague damage. So more claw damage and more energy. So now I already have 222 energy, so that leaves me, that allows me to do the uh, halberd quite a lot of times. But also the bigger weapons that I just 
unlocked. So then I will go to the talents and I will remove which one was it? That was one that was uh, oh yeah strategies this one. I'm not so hyped about this one. Unlearn. So then I got through the uh, I could go gliding claw no that's all situational I want to I forgot what I wanted to do I think it was what's the strategies plague horns no this one plague weapon so plague weapon level one yeah and then you can switch between plague weapons I want that and I don't want to consume my health, I think, instead of energy. No, I don't want that. No, all these buffs for now are fine. Item drop rate, health level, no. Also, no. It's more for like speedrunning, I guess. I don't care about this fabric so much. Nope. Uh, a little bit of energy will be stored, I also don't want intercepting a wing. Uh, no, that's like a Batman kind of attack. No, the feathers I'm not so interested in, but the claw I am. So, perform a series of short range claw attacks up to three combo. Short claw, long claw. Can, are they, can I combine those? Cannot unlock this talent, yeah, because I went through this one. Ah, uh, so you kind of locked in when you go one path or the other. That does make sense. Step and jump, some energy will be restored. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, deflection, I want to go for probably more. I don't want this def... Do I want this defense mode though? Because sometimes I'm really struggling with those really... Uh, fast ones. Reduce 75% damage. 85. But basically like having an 85% shield. Hmm. Actually that's not bad at all. This is increased deflect damage. Critical attacks. That increased deflect time but decreases deflect damage. So this makes it easier to deflect. No, I still think I should just uh, get good, let's say. Can you just increase my saber? Let's just do that actually, because I'm weaving in quite a lot of saber attacks there. And then I will also increase my... I'm not enough points now. Oh, I already spent enough. Okay, that's alright. So, now, I can also equip a secondary plague weapon, yes, and I was thinking of, uh, do I want the great sword? No, I was thinking of the scythe, because that one also restores some health, so I will equip it there. Now I can cycle between them like this. That is nice. I like that. <coughs> I like it quite a bit. Alright, so, as always, I wish you all a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me on this journey in this beautiful uh, royal garden. And I hope to see you all next time. Peace.